Please welcome and listen to a very interesting speech by 11th grade diploma program student Giga Abreizer. You know what fascinates me most in this universe? The galaxy itself. Just the endless possibilities there exist there. I mean, who wouldn't be when you figure out that there's actually a planet made of diamonds? Yeah, that shit exists. But one of the most interesting things for me is the possibility of another civilization as advanced or maybe even more advanced than ours being out there somewhere and for us just to discover them. With our recent advances in technology, it becomes highly more likely for us to actually discover them. But one of the questions I've been asking myself was, how are we going to communicate with them? Of course, I'm a very curious person, so I always go read about this stuff, and I always do my research on it. But the method I found they used is actually very much inconvenient for us. They use numbers, yeah, ones and zeros, binary numbers, or for better understanding, computer language. It's very inconvenient, it's sometimes very long, and it's mostly not useful for pro prolonged talks. But what can we do about this? Well, what if I told you that artificial intelligence can present this possibility? Now, you might be thinking, what is artificial intelligence? Well, for those of you that have an iPhone, can you press your home button for like five seconds? Yeah, as you can see, he already answered, and that's Siri. Siri is probably most known artificial intelligence example in this entire world. Almost everybody uses it. We see a lot of videos making fun of it, pictures, everything. And that is exactly what I think can help us. But how? Well, firstly, let's look at how we learn language ourselves, we humans. We have 6,500 languages in the world. We're not going to learn all of them. When we are born, we observe everything around us, our parents, siblings, relatives, even strangers, and we observe and look at how they use language. For those that live in very talkative communities, they learn language very fast, because not only do they see a lot of people use language, but they also see a lot of examples of how they are used. But for those that are not in this type of community are, and are isolated from humanity, well, they have a very hard time learning language. And also, when we grow up, we start to lose that ability to observe and learn through that. And what if we use that to learn languages? And in fact, there is actually an example of another species on Earth learning our own language through this method. And that is a gorilla named Coco. She is living in America, California, Woodlands to be precise and is under the care of Gorilla Foundation. Their main goal is to understand how animals understand our own language. If they can learn it, and if they do, can they get as complex as ours? Well, Coco showed that it's actually possible for them to learn it. She can speak American Sign Language. She knows her own name, what species she is, what she wants, what she feels. And she can talk about a lot of stuff. She can talk about more, most importantly, about global climate change. Yes. It's very touching for her, actually. If you want to see it, it's actually on YouTube. When I watched it, I actually have a, had a tear in my eye. Yeah, it was very touching. Well, but she cannot only use American Sign Language, but she can understand human speech. Yes. They don't use American Sign Language. Sometimes they use just our own words and she can understand. Like for instance, when she was given a pet cat, they told her her name and she understood it. And ever since then, she fell in love with the cat. You cannot separate them. She takes care of her just like a mother would take care of her child. But one of the most fascinating things about her is how she's starting to learn to read. In the past five years, scientists saw that they can, she could actually read identify symbols, and sometimes even entire words. Of course, it's still a long way of her learning to read and write, and most of speak, but still. That observation gives us a very big clue on what it's like for other species to learn language. 
and plus she's also 40, so it's probably kind of hard for her to learn at this point. But now, sure, this other species learning languages, but what about other species having languages? As we all know, most animals probably just squeak or yell or do whatever to communicate. They don't speak. Well, what if I told you there was actually an animal that could, they'd actually have complicated speech, language, what we call it. And those are dolphins. Yes, those very playful bunch. They like to hang out with us and constantly whistle. All we have. Well, that whistle is actually them speaking. Scientists observed and they saw that every time a new dolphin is born, each and every one of them are assigned specific whistles. When they are in groups, they have specific whistles. When they meet, those whistles are heard. But this is not it. We also are able to create a device which transforms our own human, th our own human speech into those whistles. And the fascinating thing, dolphins responded. Sure, we didn't understand anything. It was still just whistling for us, but it was something. And right now we are developing some new devices that are able to interpret that in those whistles. Well, let's wait for that time when we can play and talk with dolphins and tell him how we want to swim out in the ocean and not return sometimes. But now, how does artificial intelligence tie into all of this? Well, artificial intelligence always presented the high possibility of them uh, replicating human mind. Its ability to observe, its ability to learn, basically entirely. Well, recently Google created a new artificial intelligence named AlphaGo, after the name of the Chinese game, board game, Go. But you know what's interesting about it? It didn't actually look at every single possibility when playing a game. What it did was when playing against a human, every time it made a move, it started playing against itself to see what move might the human make against it. And if it did, what would its next move be? When uh, asked about how the program actually worked, how artificial intelligence actually looked at the problem and tried to solve it, well, they said it this way, quite simply. It's trying to replicate humans' ability to think about problems and decide. That's a big advancement. Just think about it. Robots coming up to you and just saying whatever they want, acting like humans. That seems kind of absurd, right? Where well, that future is not actually far ahead of us. But how can they actually learn an alien language? Well, unlike us humans, they are not confided into one single body. We can have multiple cameras, multiple speakers, multiple microphones all around the place and they can still act as one entity. And this is, I think, what we can use to learn them. They can observe multiple areas and they can hear multiple aliens speaking. And this way, their efficiency to learn will increase tenfold. They can learn faster than us and then probably act as one of the best translators on this entire earth. And besides, even if this doesn't work, this advancements can bring a lot of life-changing changes. Just think about it. Soon, robots will be walking around with us and as if they're their own person. Soon, we might have to create new laws for just robots. Who knows? But still, what artificial intelligence presents us is possibilities. Possibilities unimaginable. Anything you can imagine, you can probably do it. And let's just hope we can. Thank you very much.